So now the another secondary cell is nickel cadmium storage cell. It's again similar to that. Uh, so, uh, but uh, if we talk about its long life, so it is, it has more long life as compared to the late storage, but it is somehow very expensive and it can also be recharged in the same way. So, what do we have here? Anode is cadmium plates, cathode is nick metal grid that is the nickel, nickel grid with nickel, nickel oxide and electrolyte is the KOH. So, at anode what we get to see? There is an oxidation that this cadmium actually lose two electrons and it combines with the OH ions of the solution giving rise to cadmium oxide, water and two electrons. So that means oxidation has taken place. Then at cathode we have nickel oxide, it combines with these H2 and two electrons giving rise to nickel hydroxide and again the two OH negative. So these uh, the compounds which are actually formed this and this it remains sticking uh, it, uh, you, or you can say it remain it sticks actually to the electrodes that it was there that uh, PBSO4 was forming the coating. So here it is forming a coating on anode and it is going to form a coating on the cathode. So that means uh, as long as the you can say the reaction continue it keeps on working but when these the when the you can say the uh, this thing the electrolyte get exhaust and there is a coating there so that means the reaction actually stops. So that is the time when we have to supply it with external energy that means you have to recharge it so that these reactions just get reversed and the cell keeps on working. And if you look for the overall reaction it is cadmium plus NiO2 plus H2O forming cadmium oxide, nickel hydroxide and water and this is the spontaneous one but when we are recharging it again breaks up into this thing forming a node, forming cathode and we have the electrolytes also. Right, so this is what because we have the aqueous uh, electrolyte, so this is this H2O comes from there. So this is actually a lead cadmium storage cell and it can also provide the vol co constant voltage and moreover we can actually recharge it. So what you have to do is you have to concentrate the reactions because what, uh, what is in a node, what is forming a cathode and what kind of reactions do you get to see plays an important role. And as far as these cells are con uh, concerned, the uh, lead storage cell is very important and moreover the dry cell is most important, right. So you need to concentrate on these cells. So we look for the another cell now that is the fuel cell. 